of you. Lawrence, would you mind explaining this document to me? Document? Why does it say you're planning on changing the intensity of certain blisses for the Ethiopians? That would be because I am, Matthew. May I remind you that I am the link between you and the operations department? Very nice. No, Lawrence, it's not very nice. It's serious. It's your job to liaise with me whenever you begin to entertain a thought concerning... Never get sold. Damn it, it's the third time this week! I'll tell you how then, Matthew. I presume Lawrence still has that gun? Yeah, he does. Yes, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll carry on and we'll be seeing each other again soon, no doubt. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, and Matthew. If you ever got some time to spare, please don't hesitate to get yourself killed. It's always good to see a familiar face to you. Matthew, what took you so long? Got a lot of work done while you were gone. Allow me to show you. I want to prolong the time before the Americans and the Brits are reunited with their loved ones. And I bet you want to know why. Well, I'll tell you. It's all to do with the way they strive for self-sufficiency. Hence why they're taking longer to get anxious about seeing their loved ones. Go on, admit it. I'm good. You want to split Heaven's newcomers into two groups? Precisely. That's unfair. I won't allow it. Matthew, this is bliss management. It's not unfair. It's economical. And the potential gains are, quite frankly, enormous. And I suppose it's economical that you haven't let me see my family yet, either. Precisely. I think you're beginning to grasp this, after all. You shot me again! I know. I've been here for centuries and still haven't seen my family because of him. I know. And he point blank refuses to take criticism. However, he is exceptionally good at what he does, and as a consequence, it is important that you make the sacrifice. But... I promise you, it won't be this way for eternity. Don't worry about it, Matthew. Justice always comes through one way or another. One way or another? Yes. What are you doing? Fulfilling a prophecy. Ah, uh, slimy, low-life scoundrel, that misbegotten reprobate. Who the hell does that degenerate think he is? Come on, let me back in. Young man, heaven is not the place for revenge. Great, great, whatever, just let me back in. Well, in fact, judging by what this book tells me you've done to that poor man Matthew since he got here, heaven is not entirely the place for you either, dear boy. Excuse me? Unfortunately, uh, it's become evident that you have changed somewhat since your arrival in heaven almost uh, uh, 1,000 years ago. Yes, I uh, think your new home will be final hell. Please allow me to see you. Satan. I've been waiting for this a long time. So very long. The trick is to inflict terrible suffering, but never let you die. I can assure you that, unlike first hell, this will never end. And I'll be taking a special interest in you. We don't often get you heavenly types down here. Exactly. I... That judge has it in for me. I shouldn't even be here. Oh, really? And what about the times you've murdered your colleague? Yeah, but that was funny. I couldn't agree more. What makes this so particularly sweet is that you were so damn good at that job God had you doing. Oh, he's gonna have a difficult time replacing you. Relax. 
You'll be fine. I chose you out of the entire population of heaven, didn't I? Sure, I guess. But didn't the last guy go crazy and get cast out of the final hell? I wouldn't believe everything you hear. He's a work in progress. Oh, and I think it's about time Matthew is reunited with his family, don't you? Good idea, Lord. How do I do that? We really are the same, you and I. You once portioned out God's bliss, I portioned out his torment. And the most economical way to do this is, of course, through torture. Bite me, you. <laughs> Daddy's talking. You see, torture is about more than just pain itself. A mortal once put it best when he said, the human body can take immeasurable pain and yet recover. Wounds can heal. But once the spirit is broken, everything falls apart. In China, they drive you insane with simple drops of water. In Japan, they cut out your beating heart and show it to you. But I think you will find my taste is a bit more... simple. Personally, I like to start with the fingers. There's something about not being able to clench your fist that makes the pain this much more unbearable. Tell me, Lawrence, how attached are you to your thumbs? Oh. What is he thinking? We'll kill him and he goes straight back to final hell where he belongs! Decent person, I only shot Matt after all. Wait, you! I... Look... I don't have any ill feelings towards you, but neither do I care about you. Don't you see? This isn't good enough, I... I can't go back like this. Quick, tell me about your life! What do you want me to say? I don't know, just tell me how crap your life has been, or how hopeless things are, or how people treat you now that you're a drunk homeless nut. What did she expect would happen, Lawrence? Did you honestly think you could change who you are in a couple of minutes? God damn you, Satan. No. God damn you. Get behind me, Satan. Out. Now. Hey. Boss. Take it you couldn't find anyone good enough to replace me. And you're here to bring me back. You're right, your replacement is somewhat lacking. Huh. However, if you recall, your failings at your job which lost you it. No, I lost it because Matthew shot me. And he shot you because you weren't irrigating his blisses fairly. Not to mention the number of times you murdered that poor man. Yeah, but... It's always the small things, Lawrence. In a way, there's no way I'm allowing you back in. What? Admittedly, you were exceptionally good at what you did. So, in light of this, I'm inclined to offer you a new job. 
his job. Don't worry about it. I've already talked it over with them. It's a job that comes with certain perks for some like you. Perks like not going to final hell. And who knows, Lawrence? Maybe you'll be a different man when you retire. The first person you'll be judging will be Peter here. Be seeing you. My very first judgment. Please. Still not a fan of revenge, eh? Well, I still am. Um... Finally, you get to be brought to account for all the times you let Matthew back into heaven. Because you're such good friends, eh? Oh, let's not forget the time you sent me to final hell. Not so smug now, are we? Let's take a look at this book, shall we? Hey, there's quite a lot of dirt on you in here. All the stuff you did on Earth and in here. Yeah. That's for some very interesting reading. It's pages and pages of this stuff. Hey. It doesn't have all the stuff about me and Matthew. What gives? Oh. And here's the section on the good things you've done. Peter. I'm impressed. You've got some serious perseverance. You're making my job very difficult. Regardless of what you've done, you've put me through a lot of shit. You better hope God doesn't let me back into heaven, or I will be coming for you. Just remember that whenever you're enjoying yourself a bit too much. Nice to done. Mostly. Congratulations on a successful job application, Lawrence. Thank you. How's the family? We're good. I know. There's something I've always wondered. Did you really know before I told you? I know. Now remember when I said that sacrifice would be kind of important? Yes, why? Time for the real test. Lawrence? Thank you.